going to carve an owl today. Yeah, we're at the lean-to. So the one on the right I carved without watching the 30-minute tutorial video on YouTube. The second one there, I did watch the video. And the third one, which is the second one that I followed the video. So you can see I'm getting better. I'm not going to tell you what size a wood block or how to do it or really show a lot. You'll have to watch Doug Linker carving a simple owl. Give him a like and a subscription. Don't worry about me. I'm just dog's breakfast having fun up here and this and that. I'll be using my Flex Jack Carving Jack. It's a pretty nice tool. Got me a knife, glove, and a thumb protector as well. Being an amateur, gotta be safe. I have had a little cut through the glove on the index finger, but it didn't go deep. It has stainless steel and stuff mixed in it. Well, let's look at it. Fifty percent nylon, twenty-five percent polyester, fifteen percent stainless steel, ten percent spandex. I'm gonna try and strop my knife. I'm not very good at it. I'm still learning. It might be painful for some of you to watch. So I read in the instructions you gotta put this compound on. I already kind of caked it on already. And uh, you gotta hold it kind of flattish. Now this came with the knife in the package. I don't know if that's enough distance to be running it or if it's gotta be like you think I'd have a longer run. So kind of flat I think. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. This one, this one, I just like I got a bad piece, it seems. That's pretty ripply. I can't remember if I sharpened this after I used it last. I think. The instructions say every half hour of whittling. Again, Doug Linker shows how to do this really well and how to make one. So that's who I've been learning my stuff from. Stumbled across him when I got into bushcraft videos because he camps and stuff too. I didn't think carving would be interesting to me. Because I, as I say, I started watching him doing his camping and paddling videos. Wasn't really interested in the carving. And then what got me into carving was spoons. I just kind of think it's neat. And now I'm watching his videos. I want to do a bear next. I don't know, I think that's better. Well, let's try and carve an owl. Okay, this is going to be hard because I have to sit behind the camera here. But uh, I'm not going to explain or tell anything here. I 
I'm not artistic. This is the fourth carving of this. No, third. I only watched the video a couple times. I've already messed up. You know, kind of. Okay. I did carve something once before <coughs> in my 30s out of soapstone. It turned out really nice. Er, turned out good, I should say. <laughs> My block of wood wasn't cut very good. I bought a chunk of basswood. Good sized block of it. It was $25. Trying to remember what I'm doing here. Wrecked the ear. Took the ear off somehow, somewhere along the line. But I'll keep going. It's experience and yeah, I'll put it somewhere. Okay, I'm going to use some of the other tools on my cool carving jack. The carving jack! So, I want to use this V gouge. So I bought three tools at home, a 
straight gouge, a B gouge, and a knife. They're all flex cut. And I might buy some more. <laughs> Almost done. I think I'm going to V-groove the wings. So I just used the V-groove to try to put some detail to the wings. I put some feathers on. I don't really want to show how I do everything. You have to watch the guy I watched. I'm adding a few things as well and using a few different tools. So there it is. All finished. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And of course pencil I should be using, not pen, and I don't know how well that would paint over. And the idea of these whittling things is I don't think you sand them, you just whittle them and you get good at it so they're not all chippy and ugly like mine. And they paint up real nice. Mine's pretty rough get good at that with just a straight knife and bang it off in 20 minutes so yeah I'm gonna get good at carving and then start painting Honey garlic chicken wings cooking. It's not too hot yet. Starting to smell really good. Got a different GoPro now. Well, I still have the old four. Or what is it? Yeah, and this is a five, so it's only like a few years newer. One's 2012, one's 2016, I think. Four years different, something like that, I don't know. This one doesn't have a tripod and it doesn't fit the same thing. Oh, I guess I better get my cup out. Yeah. So after chicken wings, I had a nice bowl of potato bacon soup. Now an espresso. And then I think I'm going home. I work early, just one day off.
So this cup doesn't really sit under very well. Like it's too big to fit under so I have to hold it or everything will fall over. double espresso that makes this is the first time using this camera have to see how it goes oh well, the rear screen stays on longer or maybe that's just in settings what do I know I just met four people that say they're from the cabins, two couples, older than me, mid-sixties, uh, friendly, but they've probably been here before, the one guy said he spoke to me in the winter time and that they know I've been coming down here, I think they more or less, I don't know what they wanted maybe to meet me. I'm sure they've seen this before up close when I haven't been here. Maybe making a point that the forest belongs to everyone. But I did make the trail. It was never here before. There was never access here before. Guy claims, oh no, yeah, we've been all made trails around here, been here since the 70s. Well, I've been here since the 70s and made trails. And anyways, so I forgot a sign and you walk past it down a trail bordered with stacked firewood. So what were you doing coming here? I saw my truck up top, so it knew I was here. So what do you want to make a point? And to meet me. But he says he's not the one flying the drone over me. He says that drone bothers them too. I understand people, you know, the guy doesn't want the forest burning down with me here. He's got a cabin over there. But, uh, yeah, whatever. We'll see what happens. Come on. Up. Come on. Come on. Hello. Heading home. Thanks for watching. Lounging at the